меня могут быть ошибки, так что я предлагаю вам очень клевую игру. Внизу в комментариях ищите ошибки и вставляйте вот там тайм-код. How much do you jerk off? It wouldn't shock me if every country in the world was meddling with somebody else's elections. Oh, what can you say about Russia? I'm quite certain. I'm certain we have corruption in my government yeah. too. Have you ever heard about movie Death of Stalin? It's a British movie. No. It's new. No. It's brand new. And uh, now it is forbidden in Russia. Mm. Uh, because some of our politicians, they said that it is offensive to mm. our country to watch this movie because it's Stalin, he's a great lord and something like that. Mm. And uh, it just will be offended, f offending. Will be offending. Offended. It will be offended. Offensive. I, yeah, it will be offensive, offensive for our people to mm. watch it. So they decide instead of us mm. what will be offensive for us. Mm. So I would like to call it censorship. Mm. <laughs> so how do you think is censorship really uh, necessary in some countries? Um, okay, we don't talk about uh, China and North Korea. It's absolutely different countries. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, what about okay America? And Russia. Well, in America, what we would do is we would probably put, um, maybe limit it to nobody under the age of 17 or mm -hmm. 18. We have a rating system, G, which is for the general public, yes. PG, parental guidance, PG-13, parental guidance, unless you're 13 years of age mm -hmm. or older, rated R, 17 and up, or if you're under 17, you come with your parents. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Um, I think what would happen is probably a movie like that that would be offensive Maybe it wouldn't make it to the movie theaters. Maybe it would go straight to video. Yes. Straight they... to video. And I don't think they would get rid of it, but we would probably, they would limit our <coughs> access to it. So you think that, that, it's, that it is okay to restrict some uh, some? Well, we have we have freedom of expression. That's one of our, that's, one of our, that's the First Amendment of the Constitution. We too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. What... And you didn't ask my question. How do you think is uh, censorship is necessary for some countries? It's it's hard for me to answer that because it, we we've never really had it in my mm -hmm. country, um, and yeah, I, I don't really have mm -hmm. a good answer for that because I haven't lived in very many okay. other countries. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But I know that you guys do have um, much more access to the internet here in Russia. Than you do in China. Yeah, that's true. And okay, I, I said that, that Russia, uh, that China and North Korea, it's absolutely different right, countries. Right. It's, right, right, right. It's uh, it, it has nothing comparison well, to. Okay, well, what I, point I was making is you mm -hmm. have access to the whole internet yes, here. Yes. The whole internet. And we have a VPN. Uh, you told about free of expression, free mm -hmm. speech, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how do you think? Does free speech include hate speech? Um, if it's meant to incite violence, mm -hmm. no. Okay, and okay, so but so it's not really free speech, right? If it's meant to incite violence, it actually becomes more of an assault. Oh, okay. So uh, what's what the board between that? So as for me, free speech is it, it's like for it's for me as my opinion, free speech allowed you allow you to speak about anything, even mm -hmm. about uh, advantages of raping kids. Mm -hmm. You could do that. Yeah, yes, I, I would say that that's also considered free speech. You can't yell bomb in a movie theater, fire in mm -hmm. a movie theater. Um, you can't stand up with a whole bunch of people and say, uh, hey, let's go kill all those other people over yeah, that, right that, now. Yes. Let's go do that. Mm -hmm. That's that's that's. So that's a hate speech. That's a hate speech. Yeah, it's a hate speech. And okay, well, what... it becomes a hate speech if you're talking about a certain group of people. Let's go kill all those Muslims over there. That is a hate speech. Okay, and uh, what about Trump? He said that... Muslims and the ISIS actually it's really dangerous for people. So is it a hate speech or, or no? It's not a no, hate it's speech. No, it's not a hate speech. Okay. No, because you said they're dangerous. He didn't incite mm -hmm. everybody to go kill everybody. So, okay, so the, yeah. mm -hmm. the difference is when you make some people to do violence, right? Yes. Okay, so that's now I got it. Yeah. Now let's talk about women mm -hmm. and feminists. Okay. How do you think? Is it really necessary to America, to the whole world, so so this movement? How do you think about it? Um, I think sometimes it gets pushed a little too far. When, when a woman gets angry, if you open the door for her, yeah, I think that's pushing it a little bit too far. But it it could happen. Yeah, yeah. Some women be like, "I, why are you opening the door for me?" Yeah, I can do it. Are you saying I can't open the door because I'm mm -hmm. a woman? That's 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 pushing feminism too far. Okay, okay, but it's necessary, right? 
In some ways. In some ways, it is. In some ways, it is. Um, women get paid less than men for doing the same job. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, in, in many, many, many fields. Mm -hmm. And it still goes on like that today. Particularly in Hollywood. In Hollywood, leading actors yeah. make a lot more money than leading actresses in yeah. films. That's a, I know that Time's Up and Glow, mm -hmm. yeah. the black black suits and something like that. Yeah, I know about it. Yeah, that's that's pity. That's well, the pity. Time's Up was something different. Time's Up was about... Um, ah, about raping. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was, yeah. yeah it's yeah. about raping, about uh, men which has a lot of power yep. and they just yeah. use this power to... Yeah, to fuck somebody or mm -hmm. to, to jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you know, it's uh, as for me, I like Kevin Spacey so much. Mm -hmm. He's one of my favorite, uh, most favorite actors. And is it really mm, the way why he should be extended from the movie industry? Uh, expelled, 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 expelled from the movie industry. Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't know how bad his I don't know how bad his crimes were. I mean, if if what he did was was that awful, then perhaps he should. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he should. He was he was great. <laughs> you can, yeah, maybe you, he was. I, as far as I know, he was. Uh, he was. He uh, made some women to sleep with um, boys, actually, and women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> boys and uh, not boys, guys, mm -hmm. guys and yeah, women. He yeah. made them to sleep with him. Yeah. Well, Harvey Weinstein did the same thing. Yes. Harvey Weinstein did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's it's time to go. You you do that. You've been doing that. Nah. Mm -hmm. Go, go. When you hold somebody's career over their mm -hmm. head. Uh, for sex, then yeah, it's time for you to not be involved in that industry anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What about Afro Americans? Mm -hmm. I know that uh, there is a bad, uh, there is a bad rumors about them that they are not really, they they are all from the bad neighborhood, and so there are a lot of bad, a lot of jokes, racist jokes, like uh, uh, where is the black man? He's in the jail or something like mm -hmm. that. So. Mm -hmm. um, What do you think? Is it really true? Is it in, I mean, in America, Afro-Americans, are they really so bad? No, no, um, no, of, of course not. I have, I, I no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Now, you have bad people from all places, yeah, all, all different colors. Mm -hmm. um, um, in the inner city, though, it's tough, um, especially when they, when they are from the poor neighborhoods. It's, mm -hmm. it's tough for them to get a foot, uh, you know, to get ahead. They don't have the advantages that a black person growing up in in a rural part of the country or rural mm -hmm. part of the city or the suburbs might have. Mm -hmm. um, better teachers in the suburbs, better teachers um, perhaps in rural communities. Mm -hmm. And then if you get into the inner city, um, the schools aren't so good. The schools aren't funded very well mm -hmm. by the government. Those schools don't have the funding. Mm -hmm. um, and if they've grown up or if they're from an urban neighborhood in the middle of the city, a bad neighborhood in the middle of the city, Chances are that they've grown up around a lot of bad things in their mm -hmm. life, so it's hard for them to get ahead. Okay, and what about racist thing? Um, I I heard I heard from somebody I don't remember from whom, but from some American person. He said that if I want to go to university and I have the same amount of uh, oh I have the same marks as for example the black guy, mm -hmm. they would prefer him because he can say that oh guys you're racist and so but but we have absolutely equal equal marks and percents for our exams so can well, it it's, it's called affirmative action and um yeah that possibility does exist but but in addition to just marks and tests to mm -hmm. get into to to the higher universities yeah. the better universities it's not just about tests and marks it's also what you've done outside of the classroom mm -hmm. um, what have you done uh, do you work with any charities mm -hmm. have you organized anything in the schools any um, um, what groups did you participate in outside of mm -hmm. classes mm -hmm. were you involved in student government um, did you have any societies mm -hmm. school societies that you belong to um, what have you done besides school okay. okay so to find somebody two people that are truly equal mm -hmm. across the board is Is difficult, it's and the really students impossible. who are going, the students who are going into these higher universities, they know this. The okay. students that have a chance to get into these universities, they know this. So they've done everything and anything mm -hmm. and everything that they can. Okay, okay, okay. Good. What about um, LGBTQ pride or so? Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, okay so uh, what about these sex minorities? Mm -hmm. uh, are they? really insulted right now in the whole in the whole situation in America um 
Are they insulted? No, I don't think so. Uh, things have been going pretty good for them lately. Mm-hmm. They've recently, um, they have the right to be married now. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, by the way, and, in Russia, I'm sorry, I interrupt you. In Russia, mm. we have the first marriage of two gays. Ah. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Continue. I have I have married gay friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have friends who are gay who are married now. Okay. Um, but yeah, things have been going well for them, and I don't think that they're still equal on all fronts. But they are definitely definitely mm-hmm. making progress. Um, and they're far more accepted now in society than they mm-hmm. were 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. So they're making strides. They have a long way to go, but they're still, but they are, are definitely making some progress. Oh, that's cool. That's good. I know there is a rumor that, for example, if you're a gay or lesbian and if, oh, especially, especially if, if you're a black woman lesbian, mm-hmm. you have open doors like in America for everything. You mean if if somebody will say you something like you are you you're not going there. You just say oh that's because I'm black. Oh that's because I'm lesbian. Oh that's because I'm a woman. And this person can be sued. So no, not true. No, not true. Not true. Not true. You can't do that. Mm-hmm. Um, if it really happened, then mm-hmm. yeah, you could say that. But you can't just go and say oh is it because it's because I'm a black lesbian? I I can't do this. Mm-hmm. No, it, it it doesn't work like that. Now, if the person said, no, you can't, we don't hire black people. Or, no, you can't, we don't hire lesbians. If they said that, then you could say, oh, okay, well, we're going to fix this. But, yeah, you can't just go and say, oh, is it because this, then blah, blah, blah. No, the doors so, are not open like that. Nothing happens not for reason, right? Exactly. Okay, that's good. That's, that's, that's I think, what my subscribers want to hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about legalization of weed in some states? It's a good thing. That should be legal all across the country. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so you're up to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And how do you think? Is it better than alcohol? Yeah. That's really better than yeah. alcohol. Okay. Yeah. And uh, okay, what is, what uh, do you? Okay, what about LSD? LSD is it better than alcohol? Mm, alcohol? No. No. That's no. much worse. Yeah, it's a lot worse. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. And how do you think? Where is better? Oh, okay. According to your opinion, I could understand that. Mm. <laughs> um, that states where is uh, mar- mar- Joanna, mar- marijuana, marijuana mm-hmm. is re- leg- legalized, mm-hmm. so it's better to live there, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, those those states are getting a lot of money in taxes from the marijuana that they're selling now. Oh. A lot of money. They tax it. And it's it's a it's a new source of income for the state. Also, if you legalize marijuana, the people who are in jail for marijuana, they all come out. So you're not spending as much money on keeping people in prison. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of advantages to it. Um, additionally, the products that can be made from the, not just what you smoke, but mm-hmm. from the plant itself, there's a lot of products that can be made. And if it's legal in your state, you can make those products. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So, <laughs> uh, I don't. Oh, okay, I will ask. <laughs> How do you think? Uh, where is the? Where is Mar- Mariana? Okay, where where is weed? Where weed is better? Um, where is better weed? Okay. <laughs> I'd like to tell you Colorado because Colorado had it legal for mm-hmm. recreational use first, but it's probably in California because California it's been legal for medical use for a long time, mm-hmm. and now it's just recently this year I believe become legal for. Um, recreational use as well. Recreational but use? What was it this? You don't need a prescription. Ah, okay. Medical use only means your doctor has to write you a note mm-hmm. that says you're allowed to smoke it. Um, and they've had that for a long time in California. But now it's available for recreational mm-hmm, use. Mm-hmm. But they've been growing it for so long and making it, you know, all of the different strains and types for mm-hmm. medical use. Now it's recreational. Now you can go in and it tells you exactly what effects it has on you, everything, and you can really choose what which kind of weed will work best for mm-hmm. you. You said that it has for medical, some mm-hmm. for, for for medicine. Mm-hmm. How does it work? Um, people with glaucoma, G L U A C O M A. People with I glaucoma. I will Google it later. Right. <laughs> it helps. It helps for their eyes. Um, also, as pain relief. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have an op- opiate problem in America. Uh, yeah, it, that's enough. And a lot of people would prefer to smoke marijuana than take pills for their pains. So, and a lot of people die from, from the painkillers. Mm-hmm. Nobody really, nobody dies from the pot. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Now, as I was saying, uh, drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. Uh, if you do them, you're bad. So, uh, how do you think, my last question about, about, um, about uh, racism and so on. Mm-hmm. How do you think, is there anything racist in America? Yeah, we've got problems in America now. Um, Police, black people being shot mm-hmm. and killed. 
um, a black person is a lot more likely to be shot and killed mm -hmm. during a traffic stop than a white person is. Um, oh, okay. And and yeah, there's I would say there's definitely a racism problem in so, America, and it's getting worse. It's gotten worse in the last couple of years. So, uh, what about uh, Black Lives Matter and Blue Lives Matter? That's what I'm speaking. Yeah, about. I know, yeah. but mm -hmm. so this movement. Uh, so okay, I know that uh, Black Lives Matter. It happened when uh, when policemen shot some of black guys, right? Yeah. Some black guys. Mm -hmm. That's I know. And then the policemen they made a movement. Uh, bl uh, blue lives matter. Is mm -hmm. it necessary in this blue lives matter movement? No, I think what they need is more training. <laughs> 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 yeah. I think they need more training. I think they shouldn't be so quick to pull out their guns. Uh, uh, white people or black people. I, you know, you hear the rumor, and maybe not a rumor, that black guys are shot because they, <laughs> their trousers are really down. <laughs> uh, they're not shot because of that. They're shot because they're holding them up. <laughs> mm, yes, 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 yes. They're holding them up, and, and and maybe it looks like they're reaching for something. Yes, yes, yes. So I've never seen any facts, factual evidence of that, but it it sounds like a it sounds likely. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, nice. So, and ah, about racism, is it racism? Racism? Because any, uh, many people say to me that this is a racism. It's racist. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> White power. <laughs> Okay, what do you think about the whole situation, about the uh, coolest monkey in the jungle? I mean, H.A. Damon. Um, it might have been okay if they put it on a monkey, but when they put it on, when they, when they put it on the, on the, on the, little, black, on the little black kid, I mean, it was, it was racist. I mean, it was fucking awful. It's horrible. I, I feel this weird. You could have put it on anybody else. They had to use him. <coughs> Come on, H&M. Uh, what the fuck are you thinking? They will never watch it, do you see? Maybe. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Maybe one of your uh, subscribers will, will, will tag them in a post. Yeah. Learn English and you will. Mm. <laughs> you learn English with me and I will teach you. <laughs> okay. So, uh, my questions <laughs> are over. Mm. So, now... Questions from my subscribe subscribers. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. The first one is the greatest. I like it very much. Why do you watch anime without voiceover in it? What do I watch? What? Uh, anime. Anime. Uh, anime. Yeah. Without voiceover? Yeah. Uh, because the voiceover sucks. Oh. The voiceover is horrible. I'd rather I'd rather just read read the words in English. Okay. Cool. Okay. Three things what you hate about USA and three things that you love it for. Um. Three things I hate about the U.S., three things I love about the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, well, I never really thought about that. Um, oh, so you have experience right now. You live in another country. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, one thing, I, you know what I love about the U.S.? One of the things I love is that we have so many people from so many places, and they all bring a lot to the table. Mm -hmm. Everybody brings a lot of stuff to the country. Mm -hmm. Food, um, culture, the food, the culture that everybody from everywhere brings. I definitely love that about America. Mm -hmm. um, my passport. My passport gets me almost anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can visit almost anywhere I want to in the world with my passport. I don't have very many problems. Mm -hmm. um, third thing I love about America is um, is is that we 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 choose our government. Mm -hmm. We we choose we choose as a whole what happens with us. Um, it's it's not really decided for us. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit, but we can change that. We we can change that. That's cool. Okay. And what do you hate about? Three things I don't like about my country. Right now I can't stand all the race, racism. I can't stand all of the um, the two political party system that we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have other political parties, but between the Republicans and the Democrats right now, the conservatives and the liberals, um, I hate that people are bickering the mm -hmm. way that they are. Um, I know have friends that don't talk to each other anymore. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, family members quit talking to each other. Not in my family, but I, I, I've known of this to happen. Um, it's like a war. <laughs> uh, like a war, almost like a war of words. Yeah, mm -hmm. our, our country is definitely being divided right now, and I hate that about it. Um, I hate that we can't, that they can't find a middle ground. Mm -hmm. it, used to be that, it used to be the political parties could agree to disagree. Now, it's almost like a contest. I'm right, and you're wrong. And that's the end. And both sides say this. Mm -hmm. And and that's not that's not how America was built. So, uh, have you watched the serious TV show um, American Horror Story? Yeah. 
the last season. Didn't watch it. You didn't watch it. So didn't it is it. it is about uh, elections mm. between Trump, Hillary, and so on. Mm. And it's called Cool Cult. Mm. And uh, you should watch it. It's interesting. It's uh, it's all problems of America. Mm. I mean, of this uh, of this system of these mm. uh, elections. They were hyperlized. Mm. And it's very interesting to watch. So, mm. especially you are like an American. I was Russian, and I know something about your mm. about your problems because I translate these videos. Mm. And uh, you, as American, you will like it. Third thing, I don't like the um, income gap. Income gap. The income gap. Well, what, what? Ah, okay. okay. Income gap. So, can you explain it to our income gap? Uh, CEOs, people who own the big companies, they make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. A lot of money. Um, and the middle class is shrinking. Uh, poor people don't make a lot of money and um there's a large gap between the people who make the mm -hmm. most money and the people who make the least mm -hmm. amount of money i don't have the numbers or the percentages right now perhaps you can have them later yeah um but they are it's it's a huge gap um and the tax cuts that president trump has done will put more money in the pockets of the rich people oh and even less money in the pockets of everybody else mm -hmm. and the income gap is just getting worse and worse and worse um, I think Trump, even though he hasn't said it, prescribes to the trickle-down theory, where if the rich people have more money, they will spend it, they will keep the economy mm -hmm. moving, and that money will trickle down into the pockets of the people who don't have money. Mm -hmm. It will keep them working, get them jobs, better pay. I don't see it. I don't believe it. The people who have the most money, they have the most money because it's what they want. It's like a contest. They want to have the most money. Yeah. So why would they send it down? Yes. If sure. they only spend money to make more money, they don't send it down because, oh, <laughs> my workers, they're such good people. I should give them more yeah. money. It's bullshit. Doesn't happen. <laughs> don't believe it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It was really emotional. <laughs> you see, it's true. <laughs> he, he, he really doesn't like it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, last few questions. I, I told you two. It was That's more great. than two. I, I sure. miswatched. Mis, mis, mis sure. Okay. So... Um, would you die for your country if it's necessary? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, it's about... For, um, I would like to say that I hate my pronunciation. I hate my Russian accent. I know it's awful. And it's 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 the prob it's problem of all our students, of all my students and all students which are studying English. Mm -hmm. So how do you think? How we can fix it? Sing English songs. Mm -hmm. Sing songs in English. Sing with the song. Mm -hmm. Sing with the song. You you were in China for a little while. Yeah. Um, you've gone to some of the nightclubs there. Yeah. And you've heard the Chinese singers mm -hmm. who don't speak a word of English, mm -hmm. but they sing those songs yes. perfectly. Yeah. Perfectly. No accent. Same thing. My suggestion would be to do the same. Mm -hmm. Sing English songs. Sing English songs until you sing exactly like the person on there. Um, additionally, what you can do to improve your English is... Unfortunately, it's it's difficult for, for the less advanced students, but the more advanced students, I would say cut every piece of your language out of your life. For example, if you're learning English, English on your phone. Mm -hmm. You're watching TV, English television. Mm -hmm. um, uh, music, English music. Whatever you're learning, make that anything and everywhere as much as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. I know this method that you, if you want to learn some words, you should put stickers mm -hmm. on there. For example, this is a screen, this yeah. is a camera, yeah. this is a computer, and mm -hmm. then you will remember that. Yeah, yeah. But when you're more advanced, such as yourself, and you mm -hmm. want to lose your accent, doing those things also okay. helps. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. And, uh, okay. And so it's um, about Texas and California. Mm -hmm. uh, my subscribers saw it on TV that they would like to be on their own, they mm -hmm. would like to divide from the USA. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about it? It'll never happen in California. Texas is the mm -hmm. only state of all of the states mm -hmm. that has the ability to do it. Mm -hmm. And it'll never happen in Texas either. I don't think. Texas is the only state that has a possibility to do it, but I, I don't foresee it ever happening. Okay. Yeah. It's not really convenient for them, I think. No. Not, not for everybody, okay. Mm. Okay, and the next question, as I said, that um, our Yuri dude has three questions. Okay. The next one is the third one, the, la the last one. Is Putin handsome? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. He's a sharp-dressed man. He's a good-looking guy. Okay, next, uh, another one. <laughs> is Putin cool guy? Uh, I never met the guy, but he seems okay to me. 
Okay. He's, okay. I never met the guy. It seems okay. I've actually, I've seen him, I have seen some videos of him speaking and stuff, and he seems, seems very educated, mm -hmm. um, and he seems like a, a well-spoken man. He seems to know what he's talking about. Yeah, that's true. That's, maybe that's right. I don't know. <laughs> I, okay. Okay, so... Our interview is over, right. so thank you very much for hey. coming. I'm very glad that you came. I'm glad that... I got to come do it. Yeah, good yeah. Good times, good times. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. So uh, I will put your Instagram account or something if you okay. want. Yeah. And a Facebook account so okay. they, my subscribers could ask you something or something like that. Hope I didn't put you guys to sleep. Yeah, you didn't. Of course you did. <laughs> you see, you see our our operator. Yeah, yeah. He does. He doesn't speak English at all, but he's so fucking interested. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So thank you. Okay. Всего хорошего. Помните, что английский это слишком easy. Учите слова, путешествуйте. Всего хорошего. Пока. Пока. Bye bye. Bye bye. I wish I had this sh this thing, you know, when it camera stop go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So so we we don't have the uh, this one, so we make this just clap. Just clap. <laughs> yeah, just clap. Okay. So so it's go. Yeah. Um,